Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video. Leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, bra. Hey guys, Executo here with vlog number 39, I believe. It's been a while, guys. I know I haven't been making vlogs recently. Been really busy. I started driving. So my car that I've been telling you guys on my last vlog that I've been fixing up, finally fixed it up. There's lots we've done. We changed the oil, changed the transmission, <clears throat> changed another type of oil, um, changed oil filter, changed the wheel because there's a wheel flat, changed a mirror, uh, changed, uh, we put our rear view mirror up, we also put um, a new window up, uh, I had to clean up lots, uh, there's lots guys, um, but I'm finally driving, it's a lot of fun, and um, it's my first car, I'm 17, so it's pretty cool driving right now, um, but I also did get Black Ops 3. Um, a lot of people are playing Black Ops 3, and in my opinion, it's one of the best Black Ops so far. Pretty sick game, you know. Uh, as you guys can kind of tell here, just playing a little bit. But I also ate some ground beef and ate some ground beef with, like, I just made stir fry kind of. So I made ground beef with um, carrots, broccoli, spinach. Actually, that's about it. And I put some, of course, honey garlic sauce, the best sauce in the world. And I'm going to be heading to the gym here, guys, with a good friend of mine, Claxton. We're going to be making some gains. We're going to be doing some chest and triceps, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, probably be heading there in about an hour or so. But um, let's start off this vlog. Okay, guys, just got to the gym. i um, going to be making some gains. So it turns out the guy, my buddy Clacker, could not come today. But, of course, I'm still going to be going to the gym, hitting some chest and triceps, going to try to get as many recordings as I can. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, I got a lot of recordings, right? Um, I'm probably going to go for the 100 pound dumbbells today. I'm feeling good. I took a pre-workout today. I don't normally take pre-workouts. I had some creatine monohydrate in it, uh, arginine. It's called the curse, you guys. I don't know if you guys know about that, about that uh, pre-workout, but it's a great pre-workout. And um, here, one second, guys. I'm just going to turn on, uh, turn off my car in a sec here. Um... But yeah, just got to the gym now, guys, um, and let's go over there and make some gains. Okay, guys, let's get started with this workout. So I did chest and triceps. I couldn't get my friend to come because he was busy. He couldn't go till late. So I had the time. I had to go earlier, right? I had to do things later on. So I did chest and triceps. What I did today is I did 100-pound dumbbells for about 11 reps. So what I did differently for this workout, what I don't normally do for most workouts, is I took a pre-workout. And I'm kind of against pre-workouts, especially when you're young. Even when you're older, you don't really need it. A lot of pre-workouts out there are just a bunch of caffeine. This pre-workout I took obviously did, did have some caffeine, but it was also with L-arginine. It had some creatine. But uh, for me personally, I feel like uh, you don't really need a pre-workout to work out. Me personally, I guess I don't really need need it, right? Some people need it, some people don't. Um, so yeah, I did I did flat bench, uh, flat dumbbells, sorry, uh, for one heavy set, three working sets, and those three working sets were uh, sixty pound dumbbells for twelve reps, twelve reps each. So I did 100 pound dumbbells for 11 and then three sets of 12 with 60 pound dumbbells. As you guys also saw those, that was a incline bench and I did push ups right after my third set. I did three sets of 10 for that. And for these dips, I did four sets of 12 reps. So I kind of pause um, closer to the end of the set because like get pause reps to get more of a stretch in my lower, lower chest, um, allowing for all those muscles to um, tear and hit every single angle now here this is more for a burn so this is burn and squeezing so i put the dumbbells together i don't know what it's necessarily called this exercise but i put the dumbbells together push them up squeeze the top of my chest the flat bench is actually at an incline so it's an incline bench um and what, what i'm doing is pretty much squeezing at the top and then i do about 10 reps and then eight to ten and then I do flies, incline flies, 8 to 10, literally right after. So that's it's a superset. It's three supersets. And I do 10 sets, sorry, 10 reps for each exercise. So that comes up to 60 um, repetitions. As you guys can see, I'm a lot more cut now, a lot more leaner. The reason being is because I'm playing hockey now. And this is probably my last year. So I'm going to be doing a lot of more... 
um, movements to allow me to be quicker on the ice, um, allow me to be more of an athlete style. So I do still have the muscle, I still have the size, but I'm trying to maintain it, become more cut, lean, fit, um, athletic style. Uh, more of an aesthetic look so you could see my shoulders and my chest you can see more striations and I in my opinion I, I personally think it looks better obviously it looks better some people like that bulky look which I find surprising but um, it's because like for instance power lifters like being big and able to lift a lot of weight for me it's more being athletic so I want to be able to lift a lot of weight but also realize that I want to be able to do it for a lot a lot of times so like uh, work on my agility, work on my strength, stamina, all that. Work on everything. So here I'm doing uh, dips, um, tricep dips. Before that, before I did tricep dips, I did, sorry, I did tricep pushdowns and I did one heavy set of 95 pounds and then three working sets of, I believe it was 65 pounds of 10 to 12. Then I did those dips for about two to three sets of 12 to 15 those were focused on triceps, so I bought my, brought my elbows closer to my, um, actually no, I flared out my elbows more and um, brought my hands closer to my body. And here is just, um, I don't know what these, one are, these ones are called, but it allows you to squeeze your triceps. And what I did, I did a set of 12 on each side, then a set of 10, then a set of 8 on each side. And it was just to burn out the triceps, and then I did abs. And here I'm just showing off some progress, guys, um, but that's the end of the workout. And... That's all I could record for today, but I got as many as I can, and this is just a little progress of mine of after chest and triceps. I guess it's winter already guys. Look at that. Already snow. It's only November, I think, 8th today. Something like that. Okay guys, here are the vehicle. Just finished the gym. Um of course covered in snow. So guys just finished the gym. As you guys saw it's snowing now. It's I don't know why it's snowing so much. It is Canada, so of course there's snow. But just finished the gym. Um as you guys saw I did chest. Uh, I'm a lot more shredded now. Uh, a lot more cut down. I was 184, now I'm about 170, maybe a little bit under. Really cut, um, feeling a lot healthier, and here in the car now, guys, gonna go pick up my mom. But I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Uh, I'm gonna record the rest of the day. I'm probably gonna record tomorrow as well, so it's gonna be a longer vlog. Um, but other than that, guys, it was a great workout. Uh, it was great chest day, great tricep day. I did some abs too, didn't record that. But you guys saw the chest to an extent, right? I only can show so much. I did 100 pound dumbbells for 10, more than 10, 11 reps, surprisingly. 100 pound dumbbells for 11 reps. I, I think it's because of the pre-work. I don't normally take pre-workout, but because of all the caffeine and all that. But it was a great workout. Here are my mom's work now, guys. If you haven't noticed already, sometimes the camera looks a little different. Um, it's because I'm using my phone and the camera right now, and the camera right now, depending on the situation. But yeah, my mom's here right now. Damn, it's cold today, guys. You guys all that snow. I showed you. Even now, like, oh, look at that, guys. Bunch of bunch of snow. It's constantly going. I'm gonna find some food to eat. Probably some ground beef, some vegetables, you know. Good old healthy stuff. Okay, guys, today's post meal workout um, is gonna be hot Italian sausage. It has a lot of calories, I know. Actually, it's not too bad. It's kinda, I don't know why it's not focused. Okay. 130 calories, this is per half a sausage. I'm gonna have two sausages, um, eight grams of fat, lots of sodium. See, that's that's the only problem. 13 grams of protein though, so it's about 26 grams of protein per sausage, so I'm gonna have about 52 grams of protein for the 
um, two sausages. It's uncooked. Uh, I'm gonna cook it on this hot grill. And yeah, so that's gonna be my post meal workout. And um, post meal workout doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> but guys, yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Hey guys, just finished cooking my post meal um, workout, and it's just a bunch of protein, pretty much. It's three, uh, three slices, slices, no, three pieces of bacon and some sausage I cut up in there. I got my banana. I got a cup of raspberries, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna drink lots of water because that is a lot of sodium, and I know that. Um, banana is a decent amount of calories, and then got the raspberries. You know, just something healthy um that's what i'm gonna be having now guys so once i finish that i'm gonna be playing some call of duty i'm gonna probably do some homework before i head to bed and then head to bed right it's about um it's 9 901 just can't see. it's it's 901 right now um so i'll be heading to bed about 10 30 11 i gotta wake up at 7 for school and then I got supervised. I don't got really work tomorrow, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna eat this quickly, guys. Um, and then I'm gonna head to bed. All right, guys. So it's about 7:26 in the morning. I just got out of the shower, brushed my teeth, uh, stuff, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Try to find something. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's early in the morning. It's about seven. Uh, check on my computer for a bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna go look at a couple things on my computer. Um, I'm gonna be heading down and get something to eat, then I gotta go to school, gotta go supervise after, it's gonna be a long, long day, then I'm gonna do back and by. Also gonna be going to hockey, which we are doing a spin class, which is a bunch of cardio pretty much. If you guys don't know what a spin class is, it's what it sounds like, it's just a bike class. Literally all you do is bike for about an hour or so. Let's see if I can record that for a little bit, but um... Other than that, I'll go get some eat quickly. See you guys in a bit. What you do. How's it going, Tigger? Good. Okay, guys, so it's the same old snow from yesterday, of course. I'm standing in class now. Classes are about an hour each. I got two classes. In biology 30, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing in bio 30 later, but I'm setting over there right now. Just got some Tim's here, finally finished school. I gotta supervise now, so I'll see you guys after. Just finished supervising. Um, I'm gonna be headed home now, get something to eat, head to the gym, doing that back and then biceps. Of course, and I'm probably also gonna play some Black Ops. All black, but I can't even talk right now. Black Ops Three, do some homework, all that great stuff. So I never really got to show you guys much of my car, but now I'm here, so I'm just gonna show you guys quickly. Okay. So yeah, this is my car. It's a Jeep Cherokee, 1989. I thought it was 88 at first. Pretty good. Um, you can see what I did here, so I just literally put some carbon fiber wrapping in the front. Didn't do too much. So, change this wheel, I believe. I think it was the top left. It's a pretty oldish car. You know, I mean, retro style, pretty much. That's what the wheel and all that looks like. Some guy driving by. But yeah, I mean, it's in a pretty okay car. Like, everything's working well, you know? The only thing that I find really funny is, I don't know if you guys can see that. One second here. It's gonna focus in. It says, like, 384,000 kilometers on it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, it's not looking bad or anything. Like, I got it for free, you know? I fixed up that window over there. That one. Yeah, I fixed up that window. Um... Everything here was good. These are the controls. So it's power windows, surprisingly, for an 89. And it has heater. Everything was working. The heater, main thing has to work because it's Canada and you need a heater when it's snowy and it's foggy and all that. Okay, let's check the back here. See, I put carbon fiber wrapping on the sides of the car. Just like a little strip. All around, all the way to the back side. 
So, that's pretty much what it looks like. Oh, I carbon fibered. Sorry, I cut myself off there. But yeah, I carbon fibered that as well. So it's pretty much like the gas tank. Um, let's check the back side here. I got my wheel, side X wheel just in case. Pretty much a back, and that's just the uh, some carbon fiber stickers that I'm still gonna use for certain things like more for the um, inside of the car. So it's not too bad, huh? And I can push um, the back seats back, like, or down, like, so you'd be laying there. And this whole thing would be flat. But, and these lights work too, so that's pretty cool. That's how I recorded the other day with some light, because I had no light outside. Trust me, there's no light. So really, that's just what my car looks like, guys. Um, that was more of an in-depth look. I didn't show you guys the uh, what's under the hood. It, it, it's questionable, but um, it drives, gets me from A to B and back to A. <laughs> and really, I mean, it's an overall good car. I got some leakage in the gasoline, so I got to fix that later. Um, I'm going to change the hubcap, uh, spark plugs, like minor things now. We changed a lot of things already, so it's working. That's pretty much what it looks like. It's not very, um, it's not a very big car, but it has 4x4, which is good in the winter when I get stuck. Um, yeah, I got lots, guys. Uh, so... Whew, just finished supervising, just got home. Gotta finally get something to eat. It's been, it's only like 12. Like it's only been like four hours. So I always do lots in the mornings. So I just got this in the mail, guys. Um, what it is pretty much is a cassette, cassette adapter for like music you could use on your phone. Since I have such an old car, it's gonna be a lot easier to um, pretty much listen to my own music instead of the radio all the time. So it was about just under $10. It's not really gonna focus, is it? Uh, there you go. So yeah, cassette adapter. Pretty good. Hopefully it works well. So I'm gonna test out this thing quickly, guys, with my car, the little cassette thing. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna turn my car on. Okay. Oh. Oof, it's a little chilly. Oof. Okay. Get this clump off first. Alright, got the club off. Now let's put on. Let's put on it. No, I gotta turn on the car first. Check this out. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got the cassette here. Now I'm guessing it goes in like this. I really do not know how this goes in. I don't use this kind of stuff. Let's see first. Does it work like that? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing it's the other way. Okay. What? So I'm guessing it is the right way. Because it's not even going in this way. So it's just like... Why doesn't it not want to go down? Does it just stay like that? I'm just gonna turn on the power for a sec. Okay, so the radio's on now. Okay, so I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna test out my phone, guys. And let's see how it works. So, wait. Does it not wanna go in? Why does it not wanna go in? Okay, well if it does work, I'm gonna record it. If it doesn't, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say it right now, it works. <laughs> I don't wanna get copyright issues, so I'm not gonna play any music, but it works, it's sick, and it's really gonna get me pumped up for before the gym, because I'm definitely gonna play some great music before I go to the gym. Some Zeus music, some trap, all that good stuff. You know what day it is. Back and biceps. Of course, of course you gotta get those biceps, you gotta get those big lots, wide, wide back. Um, <clears throat> Lots of exercises I'm going to be doing today. Obviously, I won't be able to record all of them because it is a Monday. So it's going to be pretty packed and it might get a little annoying when I'm like putting my camera in certain spots. But I'm going to try to get as many as I can as usual. It's going to be a great workout, back and bicep. Today's workout was a back and biceps workout. I started off with pull-ups and some rear delts to warm up my back and upper chest. Upper chest. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Upper back. 
Um, the rear delt is used a lot when you do work your back, so I thought I'd warm it up. I did pull-ups, just regular pull-ups to warm up my back. I did three sets of nine. Um, then I did that exercise I just did. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't even know what it's called. It's just a type of pulling exercise. It allows you to hit the inner inner back. Um, it allows you to stretch it and hit the inner back, even the lower back a little bit. And I also did some more lats. Uh, I did a lot of other thing, a lot more other things other than this. This was more of towards the end of my back workout. This is more of a burnout. You could see it's about 12, 12 to 15 reps. And I did three sets of that. Um, once again, guys, I'm still going heavy. I understand that I am lean now, but I am still going heavy. And what that's allowing me to do is to still be strong, but also fit as well. So I could... I can be quick, uh, quick on my feet, quick on whatever it is I'm doing, right? Hockey, for instance. Uh, quick, um, what is that called? Fast twitch muscles, yeah, fast twitch muscles. So here I am doing 40 pound dumbbells for hammer curls. Um, I've done 75s in the past when I was bulking up. Now I'm just doing more of a lean look, right? So I'm doing a lot more high reps. I did 12 to 15, three sets. And that was pretty much the workout, guys. I did two more other exercises, and um, that was the end of my biceps. I didn't do abs today because I ha do have a spin class uh, later in the day. As you guys saw, I couldn't really record anything. I got one recording. Um, I don't believe I got a second. I'll have to see what I'm editing in this video. But, I mean, it was a great back workout. I, got, I did back and biceps. Uh, I tried to record biceps. Maybe I think, yeah, no, I did. I did record biceps a bit. You guys probably already just saw. I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but I probably record, yeah, I record biceps um, back as well. But overall, it was a good, great workout. It was a not necessarily crazy heavy workout or crazy volume. It was more of getting back into it because I haven't hit back in about maybe almost a week now, which is which is a long time to an extent, right? Um, for people that go don't go to the gym as much, that's not that long for me since I'm so um, consistent, and then now not being consistent. Um, it kind of affects me in a way that like my muscles look more depleted if anything it looks like it's like Flat in a way But not necessarily. I guess that's all it also depends on your personal um, uh, Experience right and also your own body right you might think to I might be mentally just thinking like oh I look flat because I haven't gotten about a week or so and I got to go to the gym You know get a pump or whatever Right, but I mean, in my personal opinion, it, you have to be consistent. You have to be constantly going for your muscles to feel healthy, replenished, always growing, getting better. Whether it's being bigger or whether it's being more shredded, um, you just kind of be consistent with what you do um, with life in general, right? So that was pretty much my workout, guys. It was back and biceps. I just threw on the car. It's a little chilly in here, and I'm just gonna get rid of this fog. So this is my post meal workout. It's just something a little small. Because I got hockey soon, I gotta leave in like 30, 45 minutes. This is my post meal workout. It was just pretty much chicken wings, honey garlic chicken wings. So it's nothing much because I already had a protein shake, so I feel already bloated. I'm just having a little bit of food. Nothing really. But guys, that was the vlog for today and the other day. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic.